All right, we are getting set up, getting our kitchen all powered up. Everyone has a family recipe that's been passed down through the generations, and what better time to use it than at Thanksgiving? We got Chef John Coulon with us this morning from Dakota Magic Casino. We've been with him before. He's got a very special dish for us this morning. Great to see you again, man. Great to be here. Great to be here. Thanks. Yeah, you know, Thanksgiving and the holidays is always a time of, of thanks and family and, and a lot of, you know, just basically camaraderie in the family. And uh, one of the traditions that we had in my family, as long as I can remember, uh, my mother made a cranberry relish. Uh, and when I went off to culinary school, and I won't mention how many years ago that was, <laughs> Uh, when I went off to culinary school, she hand wrote me a little card so that I would know how to make it while I was in culinary school. I moved off. And I keep that hanging in my kitchen. Uh -huh. uh, my Just mom obviously is no longer with us, but uh, every year for Thanksgiving, I make the cranberry relish as part of the tradition. That, that is, is so special. Yeah. It just warms your heart seeing this. And, you know, cranberry relish is one of those things where it's either very for you or very not for you. So people really like cranberry or they really don't. But this is actually a great recipe. It's all fresh ingredients. Uh, except for the Jello, and it incorporates actual Jello. Oh, interesting! So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and take um, you. You basically you have to remember when you make the recipe that the, the Jello is made with half the amount of water. It has to be nice and thick because oh. it has to absorb some of the uh, the juices that will come out of the fresh cranberries and whatnot. So you basically heat your sugar and your uh, Jello together. Take the cranberries and one orange, one small orange that's got still got the peels on it. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. And then uh, some crushed pineapple. Yum! Okay. Already. Yep. So why do you call it a relish? Um, because it's got a lot of uh, chopped ingredients in it. Oh. Yes. So you kind of just chop that up. And my parents actually pulled the old grinder out you know, attached to the counter and sat there and actually hand <laughs> ground the thing. So it's a very fond memory. A modern technology is, yeah. <laughs> modern technology is great, but yeah. So I just add that to the jello. You let it congeal to the point where it's, uh, well, you know, semi, so semi congealed. Mm. And yeah, that, the smell of that is just incredible. It smells like Hawaii. <laughs> I don't know if they have cranberries in Hawaii. Mm. So you kind of mix all that together along with the celery. Okay, some diced celery and some chopped walnuts. Okay, these happen to be candied walnuts. And then as the jello sets, um, you pour this into a receptacle and let it sit overnight. And that's actually the cranberry relish. It looks beautiful. Oh, so wow. this is the perfect. Uh, item to make early to the day ahead Absolutely. of time, at least the day ahead of time. And you know, when, uh, you know, I was working at a, a, a hunting ranch in, in Oregon and I always made too much. I mean, I always made a double batch and I ate what I could and let the staff eat some, but I actually canned it. I would take it out and put it in, in little pint jars and I would actually can it so I could bring it out off the shelf and it works great just as a, as a side for just about anything. Can we go back to, as well, that you left the peels on the oranges. Does that just yes. add to the texture? It of adds to the texture and, of course, the, uh, the little bit of the zestiness of the, uh, the peel. And that is just the recipe. I thought it was a little odd. Going to culinary school, <laughs> we would usually take the orange part off because the white part has a tendency of being a little bit bitter, but it really does react well with this particular recipe. So what did your buddies at culinary school say about it? Oh, they all loved it. They all That's loved it. Great. And, you know, I, I get the, the guys at uh, Dakota Magic last year, I gave them the recipe mm -hmm. this, but I forgot to tell them that you needed to add half the amount of water to the Jello, in it it was not quite as, as thick as it was. It was supposed to be. So it was kind of a fun thing, um, but we're hopefully going to try to make it for you guys this year. We're going to have a Thanksgiving buffet on Thanksgiving Day, so come in. We'll obviously be running a uh, Thanksgiving special in the restaurant, so you can come in and get some turkey and mashed potatoes and, and that kind of thing in the restaurant. I love that about you because, you know, you have the, the training to make these super fancy foods, but you also kind of, you know, keep the family recipes and keep the, the Midwest comfort foods going. And the best part about going to the casino, you don't have to make the mess in your own kitchen. Right, right. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of things, uh, as you'll see later on in the segment, uh, the, the, the turkey is a little complicated. It's fun to do. It makes a great presentation. We'll do that a little in another segment. But the cranberry relish and a lot of things that you do with food are relatively simple you know simple is better you know you don't want to over over complicate things you don't want to add too many seasonings and flavor profiles so food is actually very simple I love it do you, what, what do you think your mom would think about this living on 
Oh, abs I, she would just be honored. She would be honored. Yeah, she was a sweet lady. And, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's um, what this, the holiday is all about, family. Absolutely. And you make something with heart here. You know, would you mind if we steal this and pretend like it's, you know, our <laughs> family recipe? I, I mean, not the actual frame, but... Take absolutely, it absolutely. Take it on. We're going to take it on. Post absolutely. that and then go ahead and try it because I love the fact that it seems so fancy, but it also didn't take you that long. No, it doesn't. You know, you have to chop the. I candied the walnut, so I do a little bit of a diversion on that. Um, and you have to for the gelatin, you actually have to strain the pineapple out, uh, the juice, and then bring that up to equal a half of a cup, and that goes into the Jello when you make the Jello, so that it actually the lemon juice that's in there actually helps the gelatin actually congeal better. And whatnot. So there's really, if you get into the science of it, there's a lot of science and interaction in the cranberry relish that my mom has been making all her life. I love it. Mom's so, a chef. smart cookie. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, you're going to stay with us throughout the show. We're yep. uh, going to be making a couple other things as Absolutely. well, including turkey sushi. Turkey sushi. Mm. Yep. So good stuff. Absolutely. All right. Stay with us. Coming up next, though, here on North Dakota Today, we're going to be talking about decorating your home ahead of the uh, big celebration.